I am Jenia and this is Jenia's Kitchen. Today I'm going to share my recipe with you on how I make sturgeon. Sturgeon in Russian, again, I know we said in the last video, a sotar. And I have it already cleaned and prepped and ready to go. And I have a few very lovely ingredients. My secret ingredient today is store-bought dill dip. In Russian, smetana s ukropom and a little lemon soka. Sorry, that was long. So there we are. It's gonna be a kind of one station thing. We're gonna put it together, pop it in the oven. Oven's getting warm for 350 as usual, my most favorite temperature. I'll see you in a few seconds right here. Then we're gonna start chopping the vegetables and mixing out the sauce. We're going to start with prepping the vegetables. All I've got today actually is just carrots and onion. So we're gonna cut the butts. I already peeled it. And just cut carrot in the little circles. There we go. You can use baby carrots and just cut them in halves, lengthwise. I'm gonna do little circles. Okay, carrots in. Now I have a big onion. I'm gonna cut the butts. Oof, this onion has a lot of layers to it. It's a good, it's a good onion. And now we're gonna cut it in half rings. And just separate them everywhere. It's not a lot to separate it in. I have a small pan. <laughs> Onion and carrot will stop fish from sticking to the pan. And it doesn't need oil. This fish is very oily and fatty. I'm not sure if you watched our previous video, but it had a lot of fat in it. And it still does, so it doesn't need too much to it. All right. I'm gonna come back to you because I've totally forgot the mixing bowl. The next step is we're gonna make the sauce. So we have the store brand um, dill dip. So we're gonna, this is like a couple of tablespoons. That's all we're gonna have. And we're gonna use, well, like about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of Parmesan. Oh, the onions just got to me. Woo! And about a teaspoon of garlic powder. And we're gonna mix it all in very easily. Just incorporate it. And surprisingly, ooh, this onion's really getting to me. And surprisingly, this is all we need for the sauce. I'm gonna come back to you when I'm done crying about this onion. That was one mean onion. So the fish. I have a smaller container than a fish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it back my cutting board and just cut in the half. That's it, cut in the half. See, I did it as a last step. So I don't have to wash my hands in the middle, so I don't have to stop. Now, the sauce. I'm just gonna spread it on the fish. Oh, let me show it to you. Spread it on the fish. It's very pasty, so it's very easy. It will actually mostly come off. Don't worry about it. The flavor is all there. And the fish loves it. And there's no salt and no pepper here. And believe me, you don't need it. Believe me, this sauce will spread on all your vegetables. It'll spread all over your fish. It'll make everything so tasty. And think about it, there is a lot of salt in dill dip and even more in Parmesan cheese. So, if you want, you can also put uh, black pepper or any other seasoning you like. I found this to be a perfect combination for how I like it. This is it. I'm gonna wash my hands and pop it in the oven at 350 and I'm gonna time it and I'm gonna let you know when it's ready. And we're going to have the most delicious, fishy, tender, expensive fishy, it's very expensive in Russia, taste test. So the fish took 45 minutes to look this delicious. And I'm gonna show you this one little detail, the spine curled up and came out. It's gonna be really easy not to eat it. So I'm okay not digging it out. See, it's right here. It's gonna be really easy not to eat. And right here too. So, not a big deal, turn out. Don't eat it. Yeah, no. Actually, 
if you're really Russian. I remember when I lived in Russia, I remember eating it because it's actually cartilage and it's crunchy and it's delicious. Yeah. So it's a little hot. I'm gonna move it this way. I'm gonna have a little taste test. I have a piece of fish and a little onion. It's beautiful. It's like covered in sauce. It smells amazing. There it goes. Mmm. The onion is just sweet. The fish has a delicious sauce on the top. I was surprised it didn't all come off. It has no heat since I didn't put any pepper in it. It has very nice flavor. You can taste the creaminess on the top. You can taste the dill. There's a little bit of salt, just enough salt. This is perfect. Do not add any more salt unless you really like salty, salty things. This is the perfect amount. It's just delicious. The fish is tender. It falls apart. It's it's the sturgeon has a little bit of more texture of a meat. Russians actually use it for um, kebabs because it kind of stays together. Um, so it's more meaty. This is delicious. This is one of the newest things we've started eating lately because we Eric just started catching them. I've caught a couple. They are so delicious, and we finally know how to clean them so easily. I'm Jenya. This is Jenya's kitchen, and this is my take on baked sturgeon. Thank you.